there, you once more welcome to the Glory Realm Devotional. It's a beautiful day. It's a wonderful day. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We have a lot of reasons to rejoice. He brought us from January to February and He's been taking us from one day to the other, one week to the other. And it's so amazing that we are standing here, we are alive, and we are so full of life. Hallelujah. And to God be the glory. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. There is a greater dimension of glory being released upon your life right now. It is the glory realm devotional. It's taking us from one dimension of glory to the other. As you follow the word of God, the Lord is going to speak explicitly. His word will come your way that will help you to go from one dimension of glory to the other. The only way to grow from one dimension of glory to the other is to follow the unveiling, the revealing of the glory of God made manifest by the word of God. Hallelujah. And that's why we take our time to meditate on the word of God. So let's do that. We've been looking at the exception of glory since this year began. And we have this confidence on the inside that we will not remain the same way we were in 2017. Neither the same way we were last month. This is the dawn of a glorious new beginning. There is a dimension of glory that surpasses all other glory that you have experienced. Get ready. An unusual, exceeding, surpassing dimension of glory is coming your way this month. The blessing of God is in the word of God. We've been reading from Matthew chapter number 7. We have been reading from verse number 1 and 2. And the Lord is taking us to the book of Exodus 33, 34, and then the book of Psalms, chapter number 18. And as we read that today again, is what comes your way again. Something glorious is coming upon your life. Now let's look at that. Matthew chapter number 7, verse 1 and 2. Do not judge and criticize and condemn others, so that you may not be judged and criticized and condemned yourselves for just as you judge and criticize and condemn others you will be judged and criticized and condemned in accordance with the measure you used to deal out to others it will be dealt out again to you so what you used to deal with others will be dealt out again to you so if you don't want it to be made manifest in your life, don't give it out to others. So whatever you sow, you will reap. Now if you want kindness, sow seeds of kindness. If you want the manifest manifestation of glory, then do that which will bring forth the glory. And yesterday we were looking at the fact that when Moses said to God in Exodus 33, show me your glory. It's amazing the way God responded. And then we were talking about the fact that, you know, many of the time when we're looking for the manifestation of the glory of God, most people think to walk in the glory of God is to fast and pray. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in fasting and prayer. Oh, of course, I can do the kind of thing that I'm doing just in my intellect or in my physical strength. Fasting and prayer has its place. But let me tell you what fasting and prayer would do. Fasting and prayer weakens, deadens, help to paralyze the, the fleshy tendency. But you see, to manifest the glory, that's why we're talking about the exceptional glory revealed. To manifest the glory, God needs to reveal himself to you. So when Moses said, show me your glory, God now said to him something amazing. And let's go back there. Exodus chapter number 33. 
Verse number 18. And Moses said, I beseech you, show me your glory. And now look at God's response in verse number 19. And God said, I will make, my, I will make all my goodness pass before you. Now, Moses said glory. God said goodness. So how, how do you, you know, put that together? But you see, the glory of God is in the goodness of God. <laughs> Somebody has said, um, um, God is wonderful. It's a wonderful statement. But God is good. It's all, all encompassing. God is good. Because he's good, he heals. Because he's good, he delivers. Because he's good, he saves. Hallelujah. So he said, I will show you my goodness. And what did he do? He said, okay, let's look at that. It says, it says I will make all my goodness pass before you. And I will proclaim my name, the Lord, before you. For I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. And I will show mercy and loving kindness on whom I will show mercy and loving kindness. See, Moses asks for glory. God is talking about goodness, mercy, loving kindness. How do you put that together? You see, the reason why many people have not seen the glory of God, they don't know how to walk in goodness, in being kind, in being able to show mercy. People are so bent on, you know, getting even with people, um, vengeance and the likes. And that's the reason why so many people pray, you know, vengeance kind of prayer, but the glory keep eluding their life. When you sow the seed that will bring the harvest of glory, glory will come upon your life. That's what God told uh, Moses. Now, if you go to chapter number 33 from verse number 6, now see how the glory was made manifest. Verse number 6, And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed. Now look at what God proclaimed. Here's the glory of God. The glory that he said he would show to Moses. And this is the glory. And many people think the glory of God is thunder and lightning, fire and brimstone. That's not the glory of God. Here's the glory of God. This is what makes him outstanding. There are powers and, and demons and, and idols that manifest all kind of you know, pa uh, powers and whatever. But this is what they cannot have. And this is what they don't have. And this is what we have in the scripture here. And this is the image of God that, we are, that you and I should have. So when you look for the glory, look for the image and the personality of God. So God proclaimed his glory. And here is what he said. The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, hmm, slow to anger, and abundant in loving kindness and truth, keeping mercy and loving kindness for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. Come on, look at that. When you talk about glory here, he is not talking about thunder and lightning. It is these attributes that bring forth the manifestation of the power and the glory of God. If your life is lacking the glory, check your mercy level, if I can make use of that statement. Check how you respond to your fellow human being. Are you kind? Simply kind. Are you merciful? That's the nature. That's the attribute. He said, he is slow to anger. He is merciful. He is gracious. Abundant in loving kindness. So who are you? Now if, you, if that is lacking in your life, I don't care what position you occupy in the church, you need Jesus. Let's talk to him. Say, Lord God Almighty, have mercy on me. Forgive me for not manifesting your personality, your nature to my generation. Have mercy on me. Take away that nature that's not of you. The vengeful, angry, bitter nature. And give me your loving kindness and tender mercy. I surrender to you today. Have your way in my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you pray that prayer, I believe that something beautiful just began. And you know what? The glory of God are just taking over. And because that glory is in you, people are going to see a new dimension of God's glory. The exceptional glory will unfold in your life and your life will never be the same again. Thank you for being part of today's devotion message. I pray that your life 
will never ever be the same again. Till I come your way again tomorrow by God's grace. This is Ego Louis Yegwebo. God bless you.